and welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some teamer extinction. That's right, we're changing the teamer Golos list that we played before and we're taking out Golos as we talked about and putting in Jace instead because we do uh, get really close to milling ourselves or actually mill ourselves out quite a bit with this deck. So instead we are calling it teamer extinction because we got the star power in here with star of extinction um it looks kind of weird making a deck that is just built on creatures um sorry adding command here built on creatures ramping yourself up only to destroy like only to play sweepers it you know <laughs> Just, it doesn't seem like that's what you should be doing, but honestly, it works really, really well. Because not only are you like just adding to the battlefield with a bunch of creatures, so is the opponent. And the opponent's doing that also. And so we're not interacting with the opponent, right? Like we don't have any early removal or anything. So we're like letting them do their thing and they get a bunch of planeswalkers and creatures and stuff too. And then whenever we starve extinction, we're, we usually get to rebuild easier because not only is one of the opponent's lands destroyed, but because of Risen Reef putting it, Risen Reef and Cavalier of Thorns both putting in extra lands into play, we usually have just more lands than the opponent. And of course, then we destroy one of their lands. So we usually still have a lot of mana. They don't have as much mana and we get to re, uh, rebuild faster with like Krasis and our Cavaliers and more Risen Reefs and our Planeswalkers and stuff. So usually it's it's working out for us. Um, and so, yeah, it's a kind of a cool little game plan here. Yeah, star power. It's, it's a really nice uh, card, in, and people don't really expect it, right? Like, they, they certainly play into it. Like, people aren't really expecting you just to be uh, casting Star of Extinction. It's awesome against Nyssa, right? Like, Nyssa that, like, makes the lands into creatures and everything, and you play against Nyssa decks, which a lot of these green decks are, are Nyssa decks. And so not only are you destroying a land, but you destroy all the other lands that they turned into creatures, and you get rid of the Nissa, and you can really devastate the Nissa decks. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be playing in rank today. This is rank up Sunday, and so far, <laughs> we have been ranking up pretty fast today. So yeah, rank up Sunday stream. Here we go, Teamer Extinction. Oh, I guess we're probably going to need a reset. I forgot to do that between leagues here. I usually do that between leagues as Reset Arena. Yeah, no one expects the star power. Hawkeye is joining us in here, to, joining us here for this league. Also, I beat a Nexus deck today. Watching you play has really helped me up my game. Oh, you're welcome, Serious Ward. Glad, yeah. Congratulations being that expert or that uh, Nexus deck. Good job. Ooh. If we had a third land. But right now, we only have one blue source as far as Jace is concerned. I think we're going to mulligan that. Oh, gosh. Where's our blue mana? Do we just keep and hope to draw a blue land? And, you know, ditch Cavalier Gales? Do I keep... No, that's not even a good hand. Gosh. The... Well, we were due some bad luck. <laughs> In here. All right, here we go. If my opponent has Legion's End, I am very dead. When you were young. Land. Not quite. I have not survived a millennium step. And I have sired many warriors.
would have drawn a land there, we would have been able to kill our Soren by attacking with two land war elves. I would not mind if they kill the Cavalier of Thorns. Your life okay. Yeah, I don't mind that. We get this Krasis back. It's not bad. I think I play the Krasis next turn, though. I guess this turn, if I go Risen Reef, Cavalier... I go Risen Reef first, that may be it. And that's that's a huge risk. Could go Cavalier first. And then I get five looks at a land. At an untapped land. Which is like all the lands. Um I think we need I think blue's more important than red. I guess red is Second red would be Star of Extinction. Second blue would work toward get get us towards three blue for Cavalier and Jace. Let's go blue. Well, we're trying. Vanguard is notoriously annoying for the Star of Extinction deck to deal with. Beating the Soren is still going to be really tough, though. We are certainly we're certainly behind. They really should just be ticking up on that Knight of the Ebon Legion there. This is not a, a great play by them. Like they should tick up their Soren on this card first, because then then in the Knight of the Ebon Legion is a five six, Death Touch instead of instead of a four five. The four five I get to trade with. All right, Omnath can kill Soren. So let's get Omnath. Stop. Your life blood is sweet. I should have tapped both the land or elves like that. Because they cast down a druid here in response. Okay, good. Okay, worked out. Now we're actually doing just fine. 
All right, not doing as fine anymore. Blood is my beginning. It will be the blood that calls to your soul. Uh, I guess you're chump blocking. Stop, okay. <laughs> Here, play with this. Play with this. Ooh. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess if I didn't chump block there, we would have gained one more life and drawn another card. Um, so we would be at 11 right now. Dang, that Legion's end. Yeah, I guess that's, that was another thing I could have done. Yeah, I guess... Alright, yeah, I could have just gone for 6 instead of 7. Keep one land war off untapped. And then we would have been able to kill Soren. That's definitely true. Um. Thanks, Alas. Just gonna make this make sure this thing's dead. And they can't just like mortify or something. They're at 30 anyway. Will always return. That was a pretty good Cavalier Thorns too. Just got rid of a bunch of crabby cards. You know, just lands and land more elf. Ugh, stop I playing that card. To stand down now my bloodline flows through you. Sound of your heart. I just want to draw Tamiyo. So this is the third Soren. They're going to run out of Soren soon. Okay. You lost what little trust I had. Make an excellent informant for my study. No tail should be discarded. Prison Reef. Champion's a good draw. Mm. For more Risen Reefs. I know I noted this somewhere.
Hmm. Guess we start just growing one of these risen reefs too. If only Adanto Vanguard died to Star of Extinction. Darn. Alright, so they've gone through three Sorns and three Champion of Dusks. That's a great card. That's a good one. Alright, I'm going to do the draw three with Cavalier Gales first. Put back two lands. And then reveal the lands here. Them enter tapped. Let's grow one of these reefs still. I could try to get one over 20. Try to get Omnath over 20 <laughs> to survive Star of Extinction. And that's why we have Jace in our deck. Should be able to win next turn. We just gotta stay alive for a turn. Yeah, we just gotta stay alive for a turn. I probably should not tick up Tamio. Which I guess means I'm minusing Tamio. Maybe just let Tamio sit there. Yeah, Sanctum Seeker is, is certainly scary. Right now, a Sanctum Seeker would do 7 to us if we block everything. So yeah, Sanctum Seeker and Soren. Yep, if they have that combo. We've already gone through three Sorens, so they'd have to have their fourth. Oh, come on. Please no Soren. Well, do they have Soren? They said good game, so making it seem like they do have Soren, that is.
I mean, they're dead next turn. It's whether or not they found their fourth copy of Soren or not. They did not. Why are they conceding? Why would they think that they're dead? Like, we didn't show them Jace at all. Like, why would they think that... Like, I have, like, no library left, and they have, like, 30-some life. The only reason why they would concede there is... Like, they're, like, watch... Like, they're... They see the stream or something. That, that would be the only... Like, right? Like... I mean, they didn't... First, they didn't pay life for the Adanto Vanguards, which is weird. Anyway, whatever. Let's get Melody. Uh, Melody is in our deck for this matchup. Shiv and Fire. Um, what am I cutting? I kind of like Veil of Summers, too. Star Extinction's good if they don't have they don't have Vanguard. This is why we have melodies to steal Vanguard. Okay, I guess I still still gonna trim two star one Paradise Druid. A Jace. Hey, Whopper Stopper. Thanks for that sub there. No, both Jaces were in my hand. There wasn't a Jace in the there wasn't a Jace in the graveyard. I kinda wanna play those Veil of Summers, but I don't really see things I want to take out. Anyway, Whopper Stopper, thanks so much for that sub. Everybody let's get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Well, for our resub. There we go. Get some, get some high boats in there. Thank you so much there, Whopper Stopper. All right. Hawkeye's gone. I can move the camera back up a little bit. Hmm. Too slow verse. Vampires. Probably too slow. I mean, if Risen Reef hits land and we get to have Cavalier Thorns or Cavalier Gales on turn... Four turn five. Hey, James, we got another subscriber. Welcome, James. Thank you so much. Y'all keep those hype boats going. All right. Well, I, I regret mulliganing. Swaza, finally getting to watch me live. Well, glad to have you here, Swaza. Thanks for stopping by. That is true. We did mold a five that last game we won. That is true. Um, we had a lot faster hand, though. Uh, the last Saturday of the month is Sub Battle Saturday. So that's that's what I'm doing. So yeah, so Sub Battle Saturday is always the last Saturday of the month. Hey, thanks, Koala Bear. Man, y'all are bringing some hype here. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. And Sith Wizard as well. They had so much hype. Hype overload. And Santa Whopper Stopper gifting out a, a sub as well. I'm just making my Sunday. Thank you all, everybody. Okay, let's see if we get some luck here for game three with all the support. See if we get some good land of 
These are a good mix of lands and spells, including some early ramp. Not really, but I'm kind of tired of mulliganing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try keeping this. Hopefully, Risen Reef gets us to these. No crazy, or sorry, uh, Big Chandra just by the like Big Chandra's just pretty expensive at six mana, and by the time you spend six mana, the minus three may not actually kill stuff. Um, you know, like the three damage to things may not be good enough. So I think Big Chandra's too slow for this. Well, it's the ideal start for the opponent. We'll see if we can stabilize. It's not looking great. Yeah, could have used that reef land drop. Our fate thirst for life. Gets us down to 12. Ugh. And with the Knight of the Evan Legion activation, it doesn't uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to attack with Vanguard at Soren. I think that may be the first time I've ever actually missed on Cavalier Thorns. But it got the Risen Reef land into play still, so still good there. Thing has death touch. Let me yeah. lead the charge into darkness. And Your indestructible. Cleave the darkness. Paying the life does trigger the Knight of the Ebon Legion, turns it into a 3 4. Games bore me. Uh, I don't like this. Okay, well. Cavalier Gales can block Gideon. You know, I have to block everything. You know, so Risen Reef's chumping here.
But we can play a pretty big Krasis next turn. Obviously, they had another Soren. Cavalier Gales could kill Soren, I suppose. And Star of Extinction would be a really good draw. Obviously, we know we're not going to draw it here. But this would actually be a perfect Star of Extinction battlefield for us. Like, this is why Star of Extinction is in our deck. Um... Let's do six here. I'm going to leave this land here, because if we draw Llanowar off, I wanna, I'm going to want to be able to play it to be able to have another blocker. Ooh... Okay. This wasn't my fight anyway. So killing the Soren before they get to tick up and like do damage to us and stuff. All right, that's two Sorens gone. We don't want to see Adanto Vanguard or kind of any good cards. Sanctum Seeker, Ugh, Champion of Dusk, that's a draw three. Darn it, come on. <laughs> Uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm one mana short of going of Tamio get back star and play star. I'm one mana short there. However, if they if they do attack and they let me... Okay, well then... Alright, so now I get to just Cavalier Thorns and... That was a little bit of a loose attack there. I just get to, I get to just have Cavalier Thorns put the Star of Extinction back. Is actually kind of let's see. Well, I guess I'm only drawing one. All right, let's see what they got with these five cards. That's not too scary. That's not too scary. Let's 
So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So doing the Cavalier Gales first so that we can put two cards we don't really want back on top and mill them over. So we don't have to draw them. <clears throat> we have 29 cards left. We've gone through half the library. Alright, do I want to... Entrancing Melody, this, you know, go Tamio, Melody. See, so that'd be four for, four for Tamio, four for Melody, and then I can also play Jace. All right, yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. Uh, did you leave me enough blue sources deck? Yes, you did, barely. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. The storied past holds our future. Ray. Opponent conceded, but we're still chilling here. It's not closing time yet, I guess. Star power for the win. All right, well, I guess we'll, we will reset Arena. <laughs> it's like our, our opponent went home. Like, all the opponents went home. We're just, like, sitting at, at the card shop. Everybody else went home. We're just, like, sitting there still with our cards. Like, where'd everybody go? I, I want to Entrancing Melody, your creature, but you picked up your cards and left. <laughs> This deck plays some really long games like that. All right, we're one to know. We are crushing it today. <clears throat> A lot better than yesterday. You have your good days and your bad days. I'm glad we're having the good day on Rank Up Sunday. We're still in platinum though. Going back to my old school. Okay, we'll go ahead and play the Leafkin Druid on turn two. Sometimes it's nice to have Leafkin Druid after Risen Reef, but we'll go ahead and play it here. Hero. All right, we'll see if we can outgrind our opponent. This is going to be a long match. Lich. That's nice. Double ramp. More ramp. Yeah. That was a great turn for us. <laughs> they have three lands. Uh, you block there. This is what I'm talking about with Star of Extinction. Like, we get a Star of Extinction and it blows up our board, but it destroys their board and, like, getting rid of, like, one of their lands here could just cripple them. Deputy. See, perfect for Star of Extinction. The perfect plan. Star? Ah, darn. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mana. More ramp. Hmm. 
Yeah, I put together a Sultai Flash deck, uh, Cody. Um, it's a big. I'm a big proponent of Sultai over Simic for Flash. I won't keep up the pace. No, we're not milling our opponent. We're milling us, basically. But whoa, no. Okay. Um. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I can draw seven cards with Krasis. But then I have to discard three of them. I could do ten and just draw five and then still play Jace. I don't really want to play Jace, though. Let's just draw 14. Is that... Am I crazy? Did I have this wrong or something? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, it's 14. So X is 12. X is not 14. X is 12. So we don't have to discard two, so that's not so bad. I'm not going to get let them get the loot in. Let's take it back. So do we think they have a counter spell? They not super likely. I demand servitude. Hmm. A little more likely now. I'm hoping it's Tyrant scoring that they that they have here. And so yeah, they're gonna Tyrant score and yep, bounce the deputy. We get all, all these deputy triggers, but the deputies or the, the risen reefs will die, sorry we get all the risen reef triggers. All right, so they have five mana and three cards in hand. I have a lot of mana and even more cards in hand. I'm going to discard these two cards they know about. If you 
show remorse. I'll show this. Trust me. I have a plan. I don't know which plan is. I'm glad you got Every one. Every story is an opportunity for new data. The storied past holds our future. I our really should have seen that coming. Is finished. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Bullying Esper. Yeah, we're kind of doing that. Trust, hurry. <laughs> uh, we still had two more. Like, we didn't have very many cards left in our library, but there's two more Star of Extinctions that we hadn't found yet. I don't know if we really need to sideboard anything. I mean, like, Dovin's Veto is going to be annoying. Like, I could play Veil of Summers, but, like, Little Teferi, you know, of course, shuts down Veil of Summer. Like, Little Teferi is kind of a problem. No, I'm not really interested in Shiv and Fire. Um, I could play Chandra Awakened Inferno. They they do have a ton of things that... Like, the minus three on Chandra Awakened Inferno, actually. We could go with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for some Chandra Awakened Infernos. We'll cut one Cavalier and the Paradise Druid and play the Awakened Infernos. Let's do that. Let's do that. So the reason why, like one thing that I'm worried about with Cavalier of Gales is if they have Narset. It doesn't really seem like it with all the other three drops they're playing, but we still have to be be worried about Narset a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, Pius Green. Yeah, this deck is awesome. This was originally made by Matthew there in the chat, and we've been tuning it. How did Kalia and friends go 4-1? We got we got fortunate. We did get, get pretty fortunate, but um, yeah, our deck just it did its thing. Ow. And it was pretty sweet. I'd like them to play like the one three, like Tombbound Lich. Just tap out for Tombbound Lich here. Just let me Omnath and kill the thief. I know tick up, don't tick down, tick up. No, you don't want to bounce Risen Reef. Let's try this. Darn it. Nope. All right, we'll go with the Cavalier of Thorns because that blocks Risen Reef. This also ramps us so that next turn I, c I can, like, Reef plus Omnath next turn now. This might be a bad idea. Boo. All right, well, we've gone through a whole bunch of lands. Time to top deck stuff. Good stuff. That's not really top decking good stuff. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so 13 lands gone. There's 26 in the deck, so that's half the lands, but... So we 
We're at two-thirds non-lands right now, exactly. We know the bottom card's not a land. Darn it. <laughs> We're drawing non-lands, but they're the worst non-lands in our deck. Let's draw a Krasis. So yeah, we'll see if they Time Raveler the Cavalier Thorns now. And then they get to hit us. I've done the hero thing before. Magic is the best game ever created. It's a lot of fun. It's an expensive hobby. It's not it's not cheap as far as games are concerned, but it's a lot of fun. Midrange is a popular choice because it's versatile. You know, depending on whatever your opponent's doing, you get to sculpt your game plan. I think I want to keep the Sulphur Falls in hand... Because if we do draw Omnath, then Sulphur Falls is turned into a draw. That was not a very good Cavalier of Thorns, though. That, that, like, there's all my good cards. Like, we just hit, like, look at all these cards we just milled over from their Thief and, and mine. It's just all those cards, and we just draw these Llanowar Elves and Leaf Druids. Oh, well. We can lose a game and still not lose the match. Thraxel Wolf, thanks for that resub there. Eight months. Keeping that hype going in the chat. Thanks, 619 there, too. Thanks, to Thraxa Wolf and Aaron. Appreciate y'all getting those hype votes in there. Started a sizzle and see if you make it to the infer Aww, Looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 10. So I have two Jaces. Hope it's not too hot for you. I haven't seen either yet. We don't know if my opponent took a Jace or not. I like to see just mill over two lands. Maybe that third one was also a land. Strife makes monsters of us all. I abhor my need for blood. Oh, we got enough red sources. Still haven't seen a Jace yet. There's only 12 cards left. We know that that's the bottom ones. So there's only 11 left. We know they have two of my cards, though. Oh, yeah. Star, Star definitely MVP of the deck. Star is great. All right. Well, that's not a Jace. Well, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 12. Alright, first chase acquired. Not ideal. I should still have two Star of Extinctions left. No, one Star of Extinction. Am I out of Tamios? I am out of Tamios. I think my opponent has Star of Extinction. Oh, it's Kaya's Wrath. No, I... I did not want to, so yeah, I I purposely played the land first before playing Omnath because I didn't want to draw the card. How Omnath triggers and you draw a card. I've got them all figured out. Maybe that that was my thinking. It's how you play that. So if they have instant speed planeswalker removal for Jace, I lose. Like that's that's what it comes down to. Sorry, I'm late. No, so if this is a planeswalker remove instant speed planeswalker removal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it, we know that they have Star of Extinction. Oh, they didn't cast it as an instant, though. I'll spend better now next what? Time. They should have cast that as an instant. We, we knew that they had the last star of extinction. So they need to cast it like I, I tick up the Jace, and then they cast that, and then I lose, because then I don't have any cards in hand. We can figure a way out of this. Let's try this. And there we go. Jace wins it. They got, yeah, they got too excited. They thought that was it. We should not have won that game. We should have been going to a game three. All right, I'm going to reset arena again. Like, I, you know, we had to, like, alt F4 a little bit ago. I, I think it may be just a little messed up. But it was lagging there. Let's, let's reset. So, <clears throat> oh, does, oh, does, never mind, let me, I guess, maybe we would not have lost. Sorry, let me, let me read this Jace card again. Uh, 
Yeah, so we would have lost. So because the plus one just says, you know, you mill two, then just draw a card. How we win is that static ability. So if we would have just, you know, like if it's our turn, we have no cards in our library, like that last turn, we tick up to draw a card with no cards in our library. The way that we win is that static ability. So in response to that tick up, our opponent casts Star of Extinction, the Jace is gone, so there's no static ability there. And then the ability resolves to just draw a card, but we don't have any cards in our library, so we lose for drawing a card with no cards in our library. So Jace is risky like that. If you have instant speed removal for Jace, you can lose. It's only the only the minus eight ability has that also. If I double jaced before they played Little Teferi. Um, I I don't think, I didn't have, I actually had one too many cards in my library to jace the turn before. Because I had, because there was jace and then three other cards. I believe. Like, I don't think I could have actually emptied my library. I think. Hello. Risen Reef. Alright, we'll take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need... We need to stay alive till turn 6. Get Risen Reef that may speed up. Turn six should be backbreaking. Like basically, if we survive till turn six, I like our chances. I guess they have like the haste creature and stuff though. And I guess they do have the indestructible spell. So they they have things. That's not good. For us, that speeds them up quite a bit. Yeah, that's actually game. Should have played Krasis last turn. Okay, maybe not game. We have to hit an untapped green source that's not a shock land. That's good. Okay, you work. Now we have to have them not have removal. Or God's willing. Or basically any spell. I guess Dreadhorde Arcanist has Trample, so I have to block that with Cavalier Thorns, because it has Trample. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> Got. Got punished for not playing the Krasis. I don't know if Shiv and Fire is actually any good. I don't even know about Melody, honestly. I definitely want Negate. Negate's a card I want. But besides that, I'm not sure. Not so sure. Yeah, I got water. I guess I haven't hardly drank any. But yeah, I have water. Oh, that was good. Good call. Hmm. 
All right, one Jace, one Omnath coming out. Negates in. Yep, got to keep those pipes hydrated. It's hard to pull off Entrancing Melody. Hmm. Exact same hand as last time. But we're on the play now. Being on the play definitely helps. Yeah, we've had an awesome record today. Crushing it today. This looks like this is going to be our second loss. If I had to predict. But we'll see. Now that's just plain rude. <laughs> yep, just one loss today so far. The idea behind Star of Extinction, it destroys all of our opponent's stuff in one of their lands. It has been very good for us. Uh, I actually don't have two red sources right now. Which is not good. Gotta draw a red source. Gotta reset here. Like, if we draw the red source and we get to Star of Extinction, I, I really like our chances. Tenth District Legionnaire, killing me. Come on, Red Source. Come on, deck. Red Land. Yay. I could attack first, I guess. Does that matter? All right, it matters. Yay! Star of Extinction, you great. Um, yeah, let's get it back. They got two lands left. We can blow up two more lands. Bad to Kotli on our guard. Bad. Hey, what's up, feature? Thanks for that resub there. All right, looks like our opponent finally had enough. 
Keep three blue sources. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, how mad's the opponent right now? Prob probably not too happy. Our team are land destruction. Feature of that sub gets us to sub number 17. We are three away from our second sub goal of the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like we're going to a game three. We hit that red source right in time. There we go. Teamer Extinction. That's why we play Star of Extinction. All right, so to call the Honor Guard is a huge pain. To call the Honor Guard shuts us down. All right, I, I think I agree with Matthew. I think this, I think I'm willing to say this may be our worst matchup, with especially with to call the Honor Guard. Um. I mean, I can play Shiv and Fire, I guess, but like, they have the protection spells. Ugh, this is just, you know, Entrancing Melody isn't any good against Honor Guard, of course. I think if you're playing red decks, that's Blood Sun is just. Like if you're playing if you're playing red decks right now, you should just have blood suns in the sideboard because of escape shift. Yeah, having like lava coil would definitely be better than shiv and fire for this particular matchup. But oh well. Jace is in the deck because Jace is like our is a usual win con for us. We mill ourselves out. And win with Jace. Wow. That is almost all of our green red lands. Opponent kept a hand of seven cards. Must be nice. Don't you love going from six lands to one land? I mean, to be fair, we've been winning a, a ton of mold of fives today. I it's not like I haven't been mulling to five. We've probably mulled to five like three or four times in like one and like all of our mold of fives today. Like we've we've had quite a day. So yeah, we can do it. This game's not over. Yeah, oh yeah, London Mulligan rule. We would, yeah, we would, we'd have a lot worse record today if it wasn't for London Mulligan rule. Yeah, Mold of 5 used to be really hard to win. Didn't we win on a Mold of 4 earlier today? I'm pretty sure we went on a four card hand earlier today. I don't think we're winning this though. Like five cards against season of growth set up. We shouldn't be winning this. Basically, all this does is keep my opponent from drawing an extra card by playing Defiant Strike again, because they're just going to play that Dombri's Ambush again.
All right, star power. We got a ramp, though. We got this Cavalier. We can play next turn, hopefully. I mean, I think this is a, I think this is just a tough matchup for us. One, but then also, you know, like we're on a five card hand, and they got season of growth, like their most powerful card advantage engine, immediately, and it's okay to have this be a bad matchup. I, I think I don't think this is a very popular deck, so I really don't mind this being a, a bad matchup for us. Blocking with both so they can't just have like one God's willing and protect their creature. Can I just race my opponent if I just at start attacking? Definitely know they have a God's Willing over there. I'm not sure if I'm just dead to this 10th District Legionnaire, though. With giving 10th District Legionnaire protection and then pump, you know, with Defiant Strikes and lead, like, I don't know if we're just dead here. I don't know. We'll kind of see. Their entire deck just gets to, like, they just get to scry. Or, like, basically, they just have their whole deck that they get to play. Vanguard survives Star of Extinction. Yeah, we could be dead. Interesting blocks.
So it look, definitely seems like my opponent has Sheltering Light with that kind of block and how they didn't tap out. So I didn't want to just starve Extinction. But I'm just hoping that we can, you know, not die from 13 here with this Legionnaire. Yeah, I mean, my, my opponent, you know, like, we played three Star of Extinctions last game. I'm sure Star of Extinction is completely on my opponent's radar. And them blocking to try to be better against Star of Extinction is not, not anything to be, like, not anything to be surprised with. That doesn't mean that my opponent's watching this, this stream. I'll do it. Close one. Came very close to winning. We came close there. But, alas, it was not for us. I would have gained one less life to keep Druid untapped. Um, yeah, I would have gained one less life, drawn one less card. I wasn't really expecting my opponent to make the blocks they did, though, and, like, let, you know, like... If we make those, um, you know, if we keep Druid untapped, like maybe they keep their uh, Feather alive and and kill us with Feather, like they could have, they could have kept Feather alive. Um, so I don't know. Hey, uh, Ali. Good match there. That was that was a fun match. That was a close one. GG's. No, not Feather again. Uh. This is rough. All right, we gotta just ramp really hard here. Land. That's not so bad, though. That gives me a blocker. That's not so bad. Our deck's too aggressive. Yeah, when a creature has protection from a certain color, 
creatures of that color can't block it because it, it's protected from it. Tajik is just perfect against Star, Star of Extinction as well. So we're just in all sorts of trouble. Drawing the Leafkin Druid made my block with Llanowar Elves a lot worse. If we'd still have the Llanowar Elf out here, I wouldn't have to shock there. Uh, we, you know, this Druid would have added two mana. I'm going to try Melody, I suppose. If they're playing Tajik, I'd want Shiv and Fire. Maybe, can we kill like the 2-2 with Shiv and Fire? I don't know. Stealing Tajik with Melody and then Star of Extinctioning could be awesome. That would be a pretty neat party trick. Thanks, Dam. Hey, Verz, doing good. Yeah, having an awesome Sunday. Doing rank up Sunday here. So this <clears throat> normal stream is from three to ten Eastern, all the time, uh, every day. But Sundays. I like playing some of our favorite decks that we've have been playing and um, in ranked and try to rank up and we call it the rank up Sunday stream. Hey Pavo. So that was not ideal. My poor little Lanamore Elf. Alright, no two drop. I would assume Risen Reef dies. No. Since they didn't have any two drop or anything, I figured they had like a, a shock. But I guess they just have Feather they, and they're going to be protecting Feather.
I think it'll be pretty tough for Arena to be on mobile. It'd be really, I think it's just really hard to play Magic on a mobile screen. I, I don't think that it's, I think it may be kind of too difficult to happen. That's too bad. I wanted. I was going to wait one turn. I was going to let them attack one time and see if they played another creature. So they had another creature. Defiant Strike, though. That hurts. That's a, you know, just another draw there. Yep. Only got to stay up to nine there in Minnesota. Good old Central Time. Yeah, we just lost our last match to Feather. Looks like we were probably going to lose again to Feather. We were 16 and 1, <laughs> but now we're running into a couple Feather decks, which has looked like looks like this is our worst matchup with our team or extinction. But you know, like in, in standard, standard is the kind of format where you're not going to beat everything. And if if we have to lose to Feather, that's not that's not the worst thing to have. A bad matchup against. It's not the most popular deck, you know, it's like a probably less than 5% of the metagame or whatever. The Star of Extinction deals damage, and so you don't take damage from sources because of God's willing. All right, one more match. We're going to hopefully not get paired against Feather for a third time in a row. Let's play against something else. Only played against Scape Shift like once today, I think. Maybe, maybe twice. No, I think just once. Yeah, I think just once, just with Grixis mid range. I've been mulliganing to five a lot. They're just not even playable. I don't love our vampire, like, 
I think with the we're behind against vampires also. We did beat vampires earlier, though. It was, uh, it was some crazy games. But I think that overall we're behind against vampires. But it's not as bad as Feather is. Um, the other time, yeah, with Grixis midrange, whenever we played it previously, it was not in it was not in ranked. We played the traditional constructed league, but we went five zero with it then, and then brought it over to ranked today and went five zero with it. So I've only I've just played that deck like that twice, and yeah, we've gone I've gone ten zero with it. I haven't lost with that deck before, but one they weren't both in ranked. One was in ranked, but the other one wasn't. Danto Vanguard card is obnoxious. That's a good draw. So that just chump blocks Danto Vanguard for a turn for me. If I block Vanguard with Risen Reef, then... I could have a 5-5 five, five Krasis next turn if I keep Land War Elf and Leafkin Druid alive. And then a 5-5 five, five can actually survive Vanguard. But then my Risen Reef is gone. It's probably worth it. Plus, we could have drawn Scapeshift here. Scapeshift would have been great. Even though the Vanguard would stay alive, it would destroy the first forts and everything else. Yeah. Hopefully Omnath can kill the Legion Lieutenant. I feel like if we had seven cards instead of four, we would have had a good chance this game.
we were going to be just fine. Like, if, there, if that last card was just a blank, I actually really liked where we were at with the Omnath there, because we would have killed their Lord. Um, and then, like, you know, turning all these the other ones into 1-1s, one -ones, we would have had some good blockers. But we weren't going to be able to beat... Um, we weren't beating, beating the 3-4. Or Soren. And they had the they had Soren. All right, so what did we do last time? So we brought in Fire and Melody. And I cut two star. And... A Jason, a Tamiyo. Jason, a Paradise Druid. Definitely a Jace. Even though Jace is really how we're going to win this. Likely. No, I don't I don't think Chandra is good in this matchup. Alright, turn two Risen Reef. Yeah, we, we would add four blockers the next turn. And we would have drawn an extra card with the ability. Yeah, like we were we were looking pretty good there. Uh oh. Another Risen Reef? They had they had six creatures that last that last. Oh no, they would have only had five. They would have had five creatures. Stop. No, I was I was dead. Uh, why basic forests? We're gonna have to draw lands. We draw basic forest, basic forest. Uh. Well, we had a hell of a run today. Didn't end well, you know, these last three matches. But it's still a hell of a run today. And that's all right. This is but a taste of my power. That's all right. So admittedly, so the biggest things, of course, the feather matchup. I, d I, d I honestly just don't even know what to do about that. I honestly just don't. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know what the deck would have to do to really have a, a favorable feather matchup or like try to get like close to even. And it's possible just punting that matchup is just the way to go. So I don't even know like where where to start with that honestly. Um, vampires is kind of tough. I think that we're behind vampires. We went one and one against vampires here. 
Um, <laughs> Splash White for Settle. Uh, you can find all the other decks, you can find them there, or you can find the videos on the YouTube channel. YouTube channel, where you can see the other decks as well. Um, but yeah, we, I mean, we were just, those last few games too, we were mulliganing to five and four all the time. And so those matchups looked worse the last couple of games than what they probably are because of all the mulligans that we had. Uh, we are a 26 land deck, but as we saw there, like, we just had a lot of like one landers and zero landers and stuff that we were mulliganing. And that just happens. Um, so do y'all think Lava Coil would be better than Shiv and Fire? The Shiv and Fires weren't super impressive. I was thinking of like wanting something like real cheap. But do y'all think y'all think Lava Coil would be better? Especially Takali Honor Guard would rather have Lava Coil there. Think we need enchantment removal? Yeah, we have just this one Cinder Vines for our enchantment removal, which is not much. We could play. Um, I mean, it's possible you just don't play Veil of Summer. Is that possible? Like Veil of Summer negate? Like, can we can we trim down on these things? Maybe, maybe just don't play Negate or don't play Veil of Summer. Like if if you want, like if you want enchantment removal or more lava coils, I think this is where it has to come. I think I want, you know, we definitely want Melody. Like I mean, that's for the the vampire matchup. Um, because this this takes like this is something that actually gets rid of Adanto Vanguard. Like lava coils don't kill vanguards. Like Melody actually does. That's why we have Melody is for specifically for Adanto Vanguard. Uh, Could play, I mean, you could play Spyglass instead of Melody. But some of these, like, we could have Spyglasses in here. Spyglass is very good against vampires. We may not need two Chandras. We could probably take one Chandra out. Have the, the Chandras is, is like a, a something to ramp into against Nexus. Like, you know, we're going to be pretty weak to Nexus, so, like, the Chandras really help there against Nexus, and then it's just pretty good against Esper, too. So it's it's for Esper and Nexus. That's what Chandra's for. Yes, Thunder, that is it. Yeah. Spyglass is very good against Vampires, because that Soren is, like, ridiculously good. So you get to shut down Soren. If they don't have Soren, you get to stop a Danto Vanguard from like killing you all the time. You just you know turn off a Danto Vanguard from being indestructible, so you actually get to block a Danto Vanguard. Um, and then also the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Knight of the Ebon Legion, you know, gets really big with Death Touch. It makes it really hard to block, and you can shut that thing down. Also, and so shutting down a Danto Vanguard or Knight of the Ebon Legion makes like all these Cavaliers um, a lot better blocking. So that's that's an option. Um, but yeah, it's kind of late. So like, those are, there's some matchups to think about. Um, Veil of Summer, Negate, and then like one Chandra. Those are probably like cards that are flex slots there. <clears throat> um, but there we go. That's Teamer Extinction. Still a great day today here on the Rank Up Sunday. Uh, we saw that we're weak against F Feather and that's okay. And then we went 2-1. Like, if we don't, you know, it says 2-3 there. But if you think about besides the Feather matchup, we were 2-1. Went 1-1 against Vampires. And we beat up Esper. Beat up Esper pretty bad. Um, but, yeah, won a lot of, you know, we had a lot of mulligans and stuff. Which is just kind of one of those leagues. All right. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. That's it here for Teamer Extinction. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.